Right, so this is just a little bit of a quick introduction, really. Right, so uh, my little story is I started out as uh, and learning how to cut opal, uh, firstly by hand and then uh, by Dremel, uh, thanks to Roy's Rocks. And then I bought a flat lap and it completely revolutionised uh, how I cut opals. Then I got sent some uh, rough rock by a lovely guy called Rich Dover. Uh, your precious gems uh, for free just to try my hand at cutting other different rocks because he thought that I was getting too niche into the opals and then I learned how to cut a really wide range of things from agates like uh, these so these big chunky monkeys yes I can cut those and yes I can cab them so I can cut them into tiny 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 wee pieces and then make them into fabulous little gemstones uh, which I don't think I've got any on hand at the moment because they're all away uh, so that's basically me. Uh, then my mum's uh, my mum spotted one of my opals and she was like, "Oh my god, I want a necklace out of that." And I'm like, "Mum, but I can't make jewellery." She went, "Well, you said that about opal." She's but you learned how to how to make opal, so I think you should learn. So yeah, that was that. And then I started out making jewellery, and then I uh, that was in 2018. Uh, I learned the opals, and then in 2019, I learned how to make jewellery. My first pieces were an absolute disaster, but because I'm quite handy with tools anyway, and I've got a really good background in like DIY uh, woodwork making things. I was a boss metal metal crafter at work at uh, at school, and um, because I've always been practical, I just took to it like a duck to water. Really, uh, I've seriously improved over the last few years. We uh, I registered my business in twenty twenty, I think it was. So yeah, oh yeah, we're coming up to three years of accounts now, uh, but that's for the consultancy. So I, I ended up doing all sorts of weird shit, uh, doing uh, some clinical protocols and clinical guidelines for a brand new GB practice over in Manchester privately, and all that while working as a nurse as well, because I've been a nurse now for, oh, nearly 14 years. It'll be 14 years in March. Uh, but in the last year, I've had to really back down on my hours because... Um, my leg muscles are wasting away, basically. Now, I'm not on a pity party, uh, but I was at the time. I've kind of got used to it now. Uh, and uh, I can't be, I can't really walk for more than like six hours constantly. Uh, I, I, did, I ended up doing a night shift down on A&E one night and I actually physically couldn't walk to my car in the morning. I had to go and sit down somewhere for half an hour and I just thought, you know what, I can't do this anymore. So I, I do try and do a, a few shifts a week, well, a few shifts a month, just keep my hand in, keep my registration up because it's something I've worked really hard for. And I love it. I love I, I love the people. So anyway, I digress. So the jewellery making. So I do these from scratch. So this is a paperclip chain, uh, half finished. Well, I've got the end of it. Uh, it's going to be going on to uh, a pendant, I think, but I've not quite, I don't think I've made it yet. So what I tend to do is I tend to make things and then eventually I find a home for them. So that's the other side of the paperclip chain. So I've got a really nice, so there you go. So there's like a little nice little hook there for the other bit. So that there, that there is a T-bar that fits into that. And then it just slides over like that, holds it in place, all handmade. Uh, I've got another bit of a chain here because I've got a little bit carried away. Obviously, that, that little circle one's a little bit different. And then I do uh, hand knotted jewellery with gemstones. So check these pearls out. And that's garnet spinel. And let's have a look what the other one is. Oh, I can't remember what it is. I just can't remember what it is. Anyway, I've got my notes somewhere, so yeah, so that's what I do. Uh, these magnet clasps are great, but then uh, with use over the period of about two years, the magnets wear off, so I'll, that's why these two are uh, on my desk, because I need to change these. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's one of my favourite bracelets, is that? So I tend to use a combination of gemstones and uh, like normal semi-precious stones so that one there is lava kite you can just see the little glimmer and i love lava kite it's supposed to uh, absorb negativity and neutralize it which is why i like it and then there's a fancy map jasper hessonite garnet 
and that's it for that one I just used a cheap toggle clasp just as an example and then Grandad your right smoky quartz and pearls and uh, sky blue appetite as well on this one and then I did a little fancy schmancy uh, aquamarine Grandad your right uh, blue agate uh, Moonstone and uh, Amazonite on that one. But I think I need to rework this as well because it's it's that clasp. I, I, I've not really got a lot of faith in them, to be fair. Only because I, I made one and I, I, I test everything for about a year. And uh, sadly, uh, the magnet has failed the, uh, the two-year mark, so I'm going to change it. Uh, another thing what I do is these beautiful things. Oh, sorry, my glue's kind of running away with itself. So this... These are called photo journals, well, photo albums. So they're like, they're like what you, they like a journal, but then you can stack them full of photos as well. So they are quite fancy smancy with multiple, multiple pages. And then that one will flip out. And then that one lifts up. And then you've got a belly band to put more photos there. Snapshot with a magnet. <coughs> Excuse me. This side opens up that way. And then it opens that way. Then it opens that way. And it opens that way for a waterfall and then you've got more places to put pictures as well and then on these ones I tend to put like little photo corners in so you can look, slip your little photos in but I love I'm obsessed with Alice in Wonderland and then that fastens with a little thing ribbon even this one has done uh, this little box album is my little pride of joy it's based on a uh, Paul Ford's little box album what he showed so you've got a it's a soft spine album which I'm not too sure whether or not I like it but I thought I'd go with it and then I put my four little corners on and then it opens out like that and then it opens out and you've got little pocket with a corset fastener lift up pocket for photos there which I'm going to put uh, a little photo book in there then you can pull it out and then this one opens up like that and then you've got a flippy down, one, two, three flippy down, and then three flippy up, just to confuse the hell out of him. And then we've got another corset fastener here, so you just literally unwind it like that, and it all comes undone. And then that's like a box, and then I've done like a little tiny, oh my god, just pull out, like proper pull out album. And that's it really. Sorry it's taken me so bloody long, but I don't half waffle. Anyway, thank you for watching.